To discuss our proposal, I'm pleased to yield three minutes to the gentlewoman from California, Ms. Napolitano. The gentlewoman is recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentlelady for yielding. Uh, dreamers embody our American ideals, our values, and everything we hold dear. They are proud service members, students, teachers, healthcare workers, first responders, and entrepreneurs. The DACA program has allowed many of them to build a life here and make positive, significant contributions to the U.S. economy and their communities. DACA recipients, in fact, earn higher wages and will contribute an estimated $460 billion to the U.S. GDP over the next decade. It is no wonder employers and corporate America are demanding a solution. The economic case for passing the DREAM Act is strong. It's not just the right thing to do for our economy, though. It is the right thing to do, period. H.R. 3440, the DREAM Act, builds on these great successes and honors our history and our heritage, as we are a proud nation of immigrants from all over the world. After, poll after poll reflects overwhelming support for allowing the DREAMers to remain per permanently in the United States. Nearly eight out of 10 voters, including almost three quarters of Trump voters, agree on these. Only 14% believe they should be forced to leave. The faith community is also imploring Congress to do the right thing, compassionate and just. Just this morning, I met with the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, who said this is about human dignity and how we treat people. They understand the weight of our inaction and indecisiveness. Anxiety and hopelessness continue to grow as the president dithers. We are now less than one month away from the end of the six month delay period set by the President Trump to fix the mess he created. No more delaying, no more inaction. Dreamers kept their promise to the only nation they know and they love. Our government must, must honor its commitment to protect them and their families. Mr. Speaker, this is the 20th time we have asked for a vote on the Clean Dream Act. We are asking, all we are asking for is a vote. Give us a vote so we can give young immigrants, their families, their employers, their teachers, their coworkers, and friends some certainty and peace of mind. I ask my colleagues to vote against the previous question so that we can immediately bring dreamers and the Dream Act to the floor and finally do what is right for our young people and for our country. Sir, I yield back.